Hi, welcome to the second episode of The Real Life of the American Teenagers. I'm McKenna. I'm Betty. And um, so, we start college the 21st of August. I have like four classes, well, three right now, but um, I have to crash Honors English and Honors Humanities class because they go together, and then I'll drop my Shakespeare class, but if not, I'm going to just crash the regular Humanities. How about you? I only have one class. But you're going to crash two with me. Yes, I'm crashing two with you. Well, I'm not crashing when I'm in there. <laughs> so, um, this is our first official episode of Secret Life. Uh, real Life of the American Teacher. <laughs> Sorry, people. <laughs> um, so, first episode wasn't even real. We were... Just joking around. And yeah, it was and a came example. up with us. Yeah. yeah, but it was fun. Um, in the first episode, we should probably put it on there as a prequel. Yeah. It'd be interesting. I only have this clip of it. Not the whole thing, though. We should probably should put that clip on YouTube. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I like holes. <laughs> I said, holy crap. Yeah, but... <laughs> she can't record to save her life. I'm actually holding the thing, because I was in telecommunications in senior year of my high school. I'm sorry, I'm going to a mental retarded school on high school, so... She was going to school with me. We've known each other since, since the fifth grade. She's the bestest friend. She saved my life. I saved you from the social depravity of that <laughs> school. Okay, whatever you say, honey. <laughs> I was your first friend. Yes, you were. Yeah. I did not have any friends. I don't have any friends still. <laughs> but... <laughs> See, and guys, if any of you were actually watching this, um, girls don't hate each other. We actually like each other. Just, shh, don't tell anybody. I think we just told the entire world. Mm -hmm. Oh well. This is the real life. So, how do you feel about college? I'm excited. I know, huh? I can't wait. You should see my face. When I do, <laughs> dude. Her face. Oh my god. I, I I helped her register this morning, and she was like super excited. It's like seeing a kid in a candy store. That's how cool it was. <laughs> okay. So, what are you most looking forward to about college? Graduating from college and getting done over, then um, moving to Tennessee with my boyfriend. I'm just happy I'm going to college. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> She's got her entire life planned out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's going to work out. I just hope I pass my classes. I know, me too. Which I'm not going to pass. I wonder if there's going to be any cute guys there, though. I'm not flirting with any guys. I'm sorry. Well, you don't have to, but you can still look. I mean, come on. Who doesn't people watch? I mean, mm -hmm. imagine lunchtime for us. That's going to be fun. Especially the two guys that were talking to us on the street. <laughs> Hopefully they don't go to gross mouth. <laughs> Creepers. Although the guy I talked to yesterday. No, not yesterday. It was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. The, he's, uh, this is going to be his fourth year at gross mouth. And um, he's an engineer. And yeah, he's really cute. He started talking to me about Hamlet as soon as I said I was taking the Shakespeare class. And I, I, I kind of flirted with him. He kind of reminds me of Gerard Butler, who is my fantasy crush. And I would totally go out with him, even though he's 43 years old, which is the same age as my mother. But, oh, come on. It, he's, he's hot. And he can sing. And yes, people, he was in 300. He played King Lidonius. And he was in Phantom of the Opera. And he played the Phantom. And because of that, I was the Phantom of the Opera for junior year Halloween. That's a good idea. Anyway, what are you going to do for Halloween this year? Just look like the slut? No, I'm just kidding. You can help me with that one. I might be a cat again. I worked at Spirit Halloween. I, I got a discount. It was really good. Hopefully I'm in Tennessee for Halloween. Why Tennessee? Yeah, I like Tennessee. That's where my boyfriend lives. Dude, I drove through Tennessee coming out here. I just like the horses there. My boyfriend. I like horses. Me too. Hey, you want to stay over from the Kentucky Derby? Just thought I'd point that out in case you didn't know that. So, yeah, um, I think we should wrap this up, or no? Do you have anything else to say? 
Oh, music is an essential for the first day of school. Mm-hmm. But, um, use noise-canceling headphones. Um, I have my skull candies, and I have ones that I use on the computer, because they block out everybody who's talking around you. So you can watch your, uh, anime, and, um, you can watch Family Guy without people actually hearing what they're saying. And you can also listen to stuff that's probably not appropriate for the classroom. Not that we would ever do something like that. Totally. You call me a bitch like it's a bad thing. By the way, that's by Hailstorm. You guys should go look it up and you guys should go buy their new album, The Strange Case Of. It's really good. And by the way, Lizzie Hale is really hot. And I'm Katy gonna... Perry is hot too. Well, I like her uh, boobs. I'm... Yes, but they're fake. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lizzie Hale. I'm not a lesbian. I am completely and totally straight, but she's pretty hot. So, um, guys, eye candy chicks, you will love the music, the lyrics. Uh, I kind of like it to have a Levine. How about you? Mm-hmm. Kind of boy bashing. Mm-hmm. Always a good thing. Especially if you've gone through a really bad breakup in the past. Admiring yourself in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sexy. I-, I swear, that reflection is not me. No, it looks better than on the camera that- right there. No, I look like crap on the camera. I know, right? But in the mirror, I look good. You can't spar with their Oh, maybe this is because this is a grainy resolution and that's actually a clear resolution. I don't know. This is farther away. This is up closer. And you like, your head looks fatter. Because <laughs> I have a brain. <laughs> You're just full of air. No, I'm full of secrets. Of and she's pulling a Gretchen, Gretchen, <laughs> a Gretchen Wieners joke from Mean Girls. Speaking of which, we need to watch Mean Girls again. Mm-hmm. There's probably a lot of truth to that. So, anyway, um... Please comment and subscribe. Su- subscribe to this, and, um... Again, post your comments, ask us questions, so that gives us something to talk about besides... Tangents. Boys and tangents. Tangents? <laughs> sign, cause sign a tangent. <laughs> Sorry, trigonometry person. So, again, I'm McKenna. I'm Betty. And we're signing off. Thank you for watching Real Life with the American Teenager.